and hello movie lovers and welcome to the show so tonight i'm going to be reviewing this short film part of the holly shorts film festival that film is called suppression suppression is about a damaged psychologist who is forced to look inside himself and face his own demons when a deranged killer gets under his skin so when you first get introduced to the character named john he winds up meeting this other character named max who happens to be locked up for a crime that he did which is basically he murdered somebody but they also have a back and forth that I really like. It kind of reminds you of the movie Seven, which is something that I really like because I think the movie Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman is probably one of my favorite movies in the 90s whenever that movie came out. And since then, nothing really intensifies as a, as basically a detective kind of crime type of movie. But this actually sets it up with a psychologist. And I really like the back and forth between them because then you actually have Max asking John, why are you really here in this interrogation? What brings you here? And John responds with, well, I always find people like you fascinating. He goes, no, why are you actually here? And that is something that I really liked was the fact that it's like saying you're not you're listening, but you're not actually listening to me. So that's something that I really liked. So John responds back with, with the fact that once again, he finds people like him fascinating, which I thought that was really cool. So then Max all of a sudden goes, well, Max is no longer here. So now it looks like he has a split personality disorder. So then you actually have John that winds up telling him, so you're telling me that you have a split personality disorder. And then there's just this quietness about him. And then that's when he goes into it. He goes, well, you are having some problems at home. You're having the, uh, your wife is basically not loving you the way that she should. There's actually some tension at home and things like that. And you can see where John just dips, stands there frozen, like, what the heck? Why? How did he know that? If there was any tension, because here's the thing. We don't know exactly what's bothering John until we actually get to his house. And then you can see where you have the split between John and his wife, Sarah, and you're wondering what's going on. They're at the dinner table. They're not very lo loving to each other. They have this split between them, this barrier that he doesn't quite know what's, that we don't even quite know what to understand what's going on. And then once again, Max is in prison and John goes over to the prison the next day. And basically he winds up telling him that, you know, he was an angel sent by God and justification and things like that. And next thing you know it, he winds up targeting John where he winds up saying, um, do, saying something to where it sets John over the edge to the point where he winds up tackling him down in the interrogation room. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that, that tension they set up at the, towards the end of it. That reminds me of that kind of seven kind of vibe with Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt that I really liked. And since then, we haven't really had anything. And this film, to me, should be longer. This movie deserves to be longer than what it is. It's only clocks in at like 18, 19 minutes long. But you get a lot. You actually have a slow tension build up. You have a back and forth between the serial killer and the psychologist. You also build the relationship between the husband and the wife on why they why they feel a certain way that they do, where you wind up finding out that they lost somebody that was close to them or something that was close to them. I'm not going to spoilers on that, but you can tell that brokenness within them. And then basically the, the killer is actually trying to get into his mind to the point where he needs to do some self-evaluating and also on himself and some self-healing in order for those wounds to actually close. So I thought that was really interesting on how they played off the narrative with that. But all in all, I think that Suppression is actually a good movie. I think that this film should wind up being longer. I can actually see maybe a studio picking up maybe like Warner Brothers or Universal or somewhere around that caliber. Because this film deserves to be longer than 19 minutes. Because if that's what I got within 19 minutes, imagine what you can get with an hour and 30 minutes or more. So... With that being said, guys, that's going to be it for my view, review for the movie Suppression. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to comment below if you like this video. If you want to see more, we have plenty. We have the new She-Hulk uh, review that we're doing on Fridays, 8 o'clock Central Time, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, we have a lot of things going on here at Movie Television Night. If you 
are interested, go ahead and check out some of our trailer reactions. Check out some of our Holly Shorts Film Festival stuff that we did last year. And also, too, go ahead and check out all the other content that we have. Always until next time, guys. It's been real. It's been fun. I can't wait to do this again. And have a great and safe day.